So to do this working together, first step is both men and women need to feel appreciated. And generally the biggest complaint women have in the workplace is they don't feel valued and appreciated. Well, this insight was one of the first uh, gender specific insights that I ever gained. It was long before I married my wife, Bonnie, and I married Bonnie 30 years ago. We've been very happily married 30 years ago. But before that, I was beginning to develop the ideas that men and women were different and that if we don't understand those differences, problems will occur. And this was the first insight I had. So I as a marriage counselor 35 years ago, and I, um, had a very busy practice, sold out practice. And all I did, I'd come to work, I'd be in my office, she'd give me a schedule. And this is my assistant, uh, Helena, uh, and or Helen, that was a Helen. Uh, and she would just give me the list. I would do the counseling sessions, eight counseling sessions a day. I worked eight hours a day uh, and I'd go home. And Helen, organized all of that for me. She signed the people up. She scheduled the people. I would teach seminars. She would enroll people for that. She would get the hotel. She would get the food. She'd organize this. She organized that. She did my book. She did my accounting. She did everything. It was amazing. The lady was miraculous. And I thought I am so lucky to find her. She always had a positive mood. She was upbeat. She was helpful. Uh, she was appreciative of me. But after a few years, she came to me and she said, and this was actually a month after I'd given her a raise because I was making more money. I gave her a raise and she came to me and said, I want to quit. And I thought, why would she want to quit? I thought I was the best boss in the world. She was highly paid. She just gotten a raise. I'm a nice, friendly guy all the time. And I said, why do you want to quit? And she said, uh, John, I just don't feel appreciated here. And I thought, what? I said, well, why don't you feel appreciated? Help me understand that. Now, remember, that's the magic phrase, men. Help me understand that. And so then she said, well, I mean, you're really wonderful and I love the work you do, but I just don't feel appreciated. And I'm thinking, why would she not feel appreciated? So I said, uh, why don't you feel appreciated? Help me understand that. And she said, well, how can you appreciate me? You don't even know what I do. And I laughed inside. I didn't outside, but inside I went, that's why I appreciate you so much. I don't have to know what you do. You do everything with no drama. You get it done. Everything works. I mean, I am a happy camper. You're the greatest. That was my way of appreciating her, which was for the results. But she was very correct in saying, but you don't know what I do. And so I said to her, what would it look like if I, if I was to appreciate you? And she said, you'd know what I do. And then you know all I go through. I said, okay, give me, give me a couple of weeks. Let's see what we can do here. So I took five minutes every day and I would basically in the morning or at lunch break, whatever, I would take some time and I would say to her, so how did the meeting go with that hotel? Uh, how did the call go with so-and-so? Uh, did this client eventually pay you? Or what did you have to do to get them to pay? And what would happen is she now could vent, not for a long time, but she could share with me some of the frustrations that she experiences. You know, I was so frustrated or she talks about, I called them, they didn't call back. We had to go back and forth. I couldn't believe it. I said, well, did you finally get it? She said, I finally got it. And I got the airplane tickets, but oh my gosh, it was terrible. You know, they wanted to do this, they did that. We tried to get a refund. We had to pay extra for that. So she started telling me the details of some of the things she does, which are linked to emotions of frustration, linked to emotions of disappointment, and linked to worries and concerns, and linked to how she wishes things could be. Now, what is so important about those aspects is that when women feel safe to talk about things that are frustrating or disappointing, our worries and concerns, if they're able to articulate that without somebody interrupting them and telling them, well, you should have done this. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't feel that way. Well, don't worry about that. Well, that's not a big deal. Men, we do this. Whenever women talk about anything that's not positive, we want to go in and explain to her why she shouldn't feel that way. Or we just 
ignore her completely and assume she's going to feel appreciated if we acknowledge the result of what they do. But for women, the male side of them wants you to acknowledge the results of what they do, but it will never ever be enough if the female side of them is not being nurtured and supported. And that means to see the journey to her process of getting there, her process of trying, her process of overworking, her pr frustrations, whatever they might be. She wants to share that with you. Then she feels seen and heard and she feels appreciated. That's how you motivate women. Now with men, you don't have to ask them about the journey. You know, and men typically don't want to tell you, oh, it was so frustrating. I got this wrong. I did this. I made a mistake. I'm worried about this. If a man does too much of that, it actually turns a woman off. Uh, if you have a woman manager, leader, you don't complain. The most unmanly thing you can do is complain. And for women in the workplace, you don't want to complain, but you do want to share experiences. And sometimes men think you're looking for a solution. And you just have to simply say a simple technique is, oh, no, no, I'm just sharing. You don't have to say anything. No, not that. This is not a big deal. I just wanted to bring it forth. So that being one skill to improve appreciation. Some of the other blind spots we'll be exploring in the seminar are why women feel excluded and left out. Uh, all these women said they felt excluded and all these men said, why would women feel excluded? We're not excluding them. Men are unaware of the messages that cause women to feel that they're not allowed to participate. They're not appreciated as one, but they're not being included in the process. So that's another one. Ia și el. Vorbesc, dar nu comunică. La fel la serviciu, la fel și acasă. Un lucru e sigur. Degeaba vorbim aceeași limbă dacă gândim diferit. Se mai poate face ceva? John Gray spune că da. Autorul bestsellerului internațional Bărbații sunt de pe Marte, femeile sunt de pe Venus. Vine în România. află de la el cum gândesc de fapt cele două sexe. Vei descoperi cum poți aplica aceste lucruri în relația cu colegii, șefii sau subordonații de sex opus, dar și în negociere, motivare sau leadership. rezervă loc chiar acum pe www www.traininguri.ro Locurile sunt limitate. Un eveniment marca Xtreme Training. Bun, nu facem cursuri de dirijat circulația la Polul Nord și nici despre cum să mănânci cu bețișoarele într-o stație orbitală, însă facem cursuri care îți pot folosi în viața profesională sau în cea care contează cu adevărat. Negociere, vânzări, trainer, manager de proiect, HR sau leadership. Intră și tu pe traininguri.ro și alege cursul potrivit. www.traininguri.ro Garantat de Xtreme Training. 